value is greater than or equal to x squared minus 2. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to graph a related equation, which would be y equals x squared minus 2. The graph of x squared is a u-shaped curve. The minus 2 does what to the graph? Move the graph down to. So, for this sketching, Something like that. I'm going to make that slightly better. No, no, stop it. Stop it. Yeah, all right. That works. It does not actually go through the point negative 2 and positive 2. Uh, we can get those values if we really wanted to, but the whole purpose of this is just to sketch. So we don't have to be exact. All right. Notice I used a solid curve because there's an equal sign on the original inequality. Step two, pick a point, any point, as long as it's clearly not on the curve. Now, I just did a quick sketch based on transformations, and as I said, mine's not exactly right. It should be a little bit thinner than what that shows there. So let's pick a point that's clearly nowhere near this curve. Negative seven, negative five. Works great for me. Negative 7, negative 5 is way down here. So by drawing this curve, we separated our sheet of paper into two regions. The region inside the bowl and the region outside of the bowl. The test point is going to help us determine if we shade inside or outside the bowl. So if I put in negative 7, negative 5 into my original inequality, notice that means negative 5 goes in for y. Negative 7 goes in for x. Is that true or false? False. Negative 5 is not greater than or equal to, uh, what would that be, 49 minus 2, so 47. All right. So negative 7, negative 5 is outside of the bowl. The bowl. It made it false. So what points make it true? Inside. We're going to just shade inside. No different than what we did before when we had line. Draw your boundary with a point. B is a little bit trickier because this is a transformation, but it's totally not one that we're used to. So the way we're going to do B is we're going to plot points and connect the dots. Your absolute value functions should look like B shapes. However, notice the absolute value is on the Y. So it's going to look like it's a V on its side, so like a greater than or less than. So it can be done in transformations. College eligible to learn how to do this one. So for right now, we're just going to plot points. Instead of our typical picking numbers for x, we're actually going to pick numbers for y. We're going to flip it around. Let's pick, let's start with negative 3 for y. I'll make a chart. We'll do negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1. This should do nicely. If I put in negative 3 in for y, I'll do negative 3 plus 1, which is negative 2. Its absolute value is 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. So that's the ordered pair 0, negative 3. Put a negative 2 in for y. Uh, yeah, negative 1. So that's the order of pair negative 1, negative 2. Put a 
negative 1 and for y. Negative 2. That's the word pair negative 2, negative 1. 0. Negative 1. 1. Careful. Zero, because this gives you two minus two is zero. So we see our in our flipped over V shape. Now, when I connect it, I have to be worried here. There is no equal sign here. So solid or dotted? Dotted. Like the previous one where we just did a sketch based on transformation, here we actually plot a point. We get a much more accurate graph. It just takes a little bit longer. But just like before, pick a point, any point, as long as it's clearly not on, in this case, the absolute value graph. Negative 4, negative 4. Works for me. That's down here. If I put in negative 4 and for x, And also negative 4 and for y. Is that true or false? False. Negative 4, 4. Careful. Should get false. Negative 4 is not bigger than negative 1. Negative 4, 4 is. I don't want to say it, I don't want to say it, but it's outside of this V shape. It made it false, so where do I shade? Inside. Inside the V shape. strong.